uh, YouTube. So I've still got these plants right here to plant. Um, I just planted my sweet potato. And how are those peppers? And I'm getting ready before these die. These are my cucumbers. To put them in the ground. Y'all, nobody can help plant nothing. These are my tomatoes. I still got one more to put in a bucket. Those are probably gonna have to go into deeper buckets if they get bigger. Um, like this one. But you see, I got tomatoes here. Several of them. I bought this plant like that, but it didn't have all the tomatoes on it. But, anyway. Yeah, I got all these young people. Nobody knows how to mow grass. Nobody knows how to plant food. You see this grass back here? Yeah, I called somebody to pay, but he doesn't service my area. So he's sending... He's going to have somebody call me that uh, services my area. But um, I've mowed uh, most of the whole front. Um, all on that whole side over there. And I'll show you when I come back here. I mowed all the way over to here. Y'all, I just don't like snakes. I don't like rats. And I don't like bugs. And huh, these people here just don't seem to give a damn about nothing. They throw stuff down in the yard. Y'all, I've never seen nothing like it. I've got two 18-year-olds, a 40-year-old. That has a part-time husband. And nobody knows how to do nothing. They don't know how to clean the house. They don't know how to mow grass. There's Puppy. Say hi, Puppy. I gotta get some weed killer for that. Because that looks like poison sumac or IV-1. And I'm highly allergic. And the wind's blowing. Um, but, y'all, I did get back to here. Oh, let me show you. What are y'all barking at? But I gotta get some weed killer because this right here, the only way to get it is with weed killer. Um, but yeah. So, and in case something goes wrong with the well house, ah, oh, puppy. Come here, puppy. You gotta go this way. Come on. Hold on, you guys, because he keeps getting tangled up around this gas tank that's not even used. Can you come? Oh, God. Look, she's got this rod and mower. She paid 400 bucks for it last year. And it was probably a $100 mower. Oh, God, this dog's going to kill me. Um, but she's going to have to move it because right here by this porch is some high weeds. She's got to move it. I mean, because my dog's back here. And that's a snake pit. So she's going to have to get this mower somehow and move it so I can mow next to the porch. This girl has got everything gommed up out here. But yeah, as you can see, I mowed over here, all the way around back, and I mowed a path to the well house. Because if something happens, you got to be able to get to it. Um, hopefully that guy will call me, and he'll finish this backside here. If not, y'all... I'm going to have to put my mower on high. Because I'm going to have to get it down somehow, some way. And uh, I ain't got no help, that's for sure. Hmm. She'll mow a little bit and swear to God she mowed the whole damn yard. And that's only once in a while. <sighs> but still, you got a young 18-year-old boy, don't go to school, don't work, nothing. Tell me why he can't mow grass. I got an 18-year-old granddaughter that should also be out here helping mow grass, although she does go to school. But the 61-year-old mom should not be out here having to take care of a house, the yard, and you got four adults living here that just run around and terrorize shit. Like the back porch has got junk on it, the front porch has got junk on it. Like... I don't know. I, 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 I'm, I'm lost for words, y'all. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just really upset. And, uh, 
Anyway, these are my sweet oh. potatoes I just planted. And then I dug this ditch over here for my cucumber because this is the softest spot. This yard is hard as a brick back. Um, I'm going to have to see if I can find somebody who's got a tiller I can rent because I'd like to come, of course, Radar, he can get over here because she's got him tied to the front porch where you got to step in shit to get in the house. Uh, anyway, long story short, I'd like to come from this vent and, you know, come out in a nice square right here and make me a nice garden. But, y'all, this over here is hard, and I, I just can't dig it. I just can't. But I'm getting my sweet potatoes and my cucumbers in the ground today. Um, yeah, it, it's just a mess. I'm trying to find a house, but there's, there's like, nothing. There's, there's like, <laughs> the housing market is crazy. It's fixing to crash soon, I hope. But anyway, y'all, as I was saying, say a prayer for those families in Texas. That was awful that an 18-year-old boy was able to get two guns, semi-automatics. People saying they're AK, and no, they're similar, but they're not. But still, um, for an 18-year-old to be able to walk in and get a weapon, you got to be 21 to buy cigarettes and alcohol. But you, but you don't have to be 21 to buy a gun? I mean, come on now. Um, you know, I do believe that we need a few stricter rules on the gun control. Um, <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's crazy. Now, I don't say take away legal citizens' rights and guns because then the only ones with the guns is going to be the damn criminals because most of those ain't got no uh, numbers on them anyway. Uh, they're stolen or whatever. And there's so many out there that you'll never get control of that situation. You would never get control of that issue. So, the only ones with the guns would be the criminals. And the law-abiding citizens would be up shit's creek. So, but I do believe in some kind of mental illness checks. Um, maybe even a, a weapons class. If you're under the age of, say, 25. Between 21 and 25. A weapons class. A certificate. A safety class. You know, something. Because that's going to... Make it harder for them to get. Um, unless they go buy it off the street, as I said. And then there's not a whole lot y'all can do about that. I mean, you know. Um, it's the same with, they put this on my car. Uh, for a guy that I know is a friend of mine, was running for sheriff. Y'all, if I don't take it off, it won't get took off. I didn't put it there. But if I don't take it off, it's not going to get took off. I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to finish planting my plants. And, uh, like I said, I say prayers for them. There is an asteroid coming by Earth tomorrow, but don't worry, it ain't going to hit. Um, it's a 1998 and, um, J something. God, I forgot. But anyway, it's not going to hit, but it's a nice size asteroid. And it is considered a near Earth object, but, you know, as usual, it ain't going to hit. All right, everyone. Take care. Sorry about the rant, but I'm I'm just getting really sick and tired of being sick and tired. All right, bye, y'all. Let me just let puppy tell you bye. Tell him bye, puppy. Tell him bye. Well, come on. Tell him bye if you want to talk. You want to talk? Mm hmm. You want to talk? Tell you two bye. Tell him bye. Say bye. Okay. Is that bye? You tell him bye? Did you tell him? All right, I'm going to bring you inside. You got water on the back porch, silly. Better go get your drink painting. All right, y'all. Bye for now.